Hi, I'm Kate Watts, a registered dietitian nutritionist with Cone Health. Thanks for joining me for this month's Nutrition Bites. We are finishing up our mini series and are going to be talking about food for longevity. How does nutrition promote long life? Now there's not just one nutrient or one food that magically helps us live longer. And so we want to look at actually food groups, different food types that research has shown to really be linked to preventing risk of chronic diseases and helping us age gracefully. What we really want to consider is our overall eating style and the balance of foods that we include. Food synergy is a really important part of living longer. And so that means considering a healthy eating plan like the Mediterranean style diet, a DASH diet, or a plant-based diet that helps us incorporate all of these food groups regularly in our dietary choices. First food group to include regularly in your food choices are cruciferous vegetables. So these are the crunchy vegetables that include broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. They are linked in research to a wide variety of benefits, including living longer. They also are packed with antioxidants and lots of vitamins like A, C, and K, all which are known to promote healthy aging. Our next food group, berries, have long been studied for their benefits to cardiovascular health, for preventing cancer, and reducing inflammation. Newer research suggests that it's also a great food group to include daily for better brain health, that they are linked to reducing cognitive decline and help to improve memory. So these tasty small packages can be sprinkled through your day in various dishes. If you can't find them in season, go for frozen, but they're gonna be packed with the same vitamins and nutrients as the fresh versions. Beans and legumes are an excellent plant-based protein source. When we swap out an animal protein choice once or twice a week for beans or legumes, we are promoting our longevity. Beans of all kinds are really nutrient packed. They're full of fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Um, so choose which ones you like and include them a couple times a week. Beans are also shown to help reduce type two diabetes and lower cholesterol, as well as fight off inflammation and prevent certain types of cancer. Over and over again, research points us to dark leafy greens as a way to promote a longer, happier life. These foods are some of the lowest in calories, but the highest in nutrition. So we call these nutrient dense foods, and it's a great goal to try to incorporate them at least once per day. You have a large variety to choose from, including things like spinach, kale, bok choy, or collard greens. Our next food group is nuts and seeds. So these tiny packages are full of nutrition and are well researched for their benefits in reducing cardiovascular disease with their benefits of heart healthy omega-3 fatty acids, which are also great for brain health, as well as the loads of nutrients and vitamins they have in addition to fiber. They're overall a really great package of nutrition for long life. Whole grains are a staple in the Mediterranean and DASH eating plans, and they are well studied in their ability to improve heart health and heart disease outcomes. Now, cardiovascular disease is the number one killer in America, and so anytime we talk about heart health, we know that it is impacting our lifespan in a positive way. Whole grains in their most natural forms, things like oats and quinoa and brown rice are excellent fuel sources to bulk up your meals and help improve those heart outcomes. When it comes to health and long life, what's in your mug may be just as important as what's on your plate. Research has looked at herbal teas as a potential for reducing cancer risk 
specifically green tea and its polyphenol EGCG, which is known to reduce inflammation. For a long and healthy life, I hope that you give some of these food groups a try and aim to incorporate them more into your daily food choices. Remember, it's the overall eating pattern that's going to really matter, not just one singular nutrient or food. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again in our next Nutrition Bites. Research is, uh, has built a better, what am I trying to say? Spinach, kale, bok choy, collards, spinach greens. I think I already said spinach. It's a really that punch a big 